There's so many different ways to play this deck, guys. This is absolutely ridiculous. I, I can make videos on this deck forever. <laughs> What is going on, you guys? Bastion YJ here. We're back again with more Fire Kings. <laughs> Fire Kings structure deck is going to be dropping soon, guys. I believe OTS stores should be getting it this Wednesday. So, by the time you guys see it, it should be getting it tomorrow for OTS stores. So, we are here, guys, because we found another way to go ahead and play Fire King, which is this Fire Brigade version, which I'll show you guys in just a second. Now, I know you guys are already thinking, bro, you've already made like what three different profiles on this deck, but I'm telling you, there's a good reason for it. This deck has so many different ways to play it. it is so first versatile there is it is so splashable with different di types of things it, 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 there's so many ways you can viably play this deck and it's actually crazy and a lot of them are very budget so we've already checked out the competitive diet bell star build we've already checked out the 30 deck 30 dollar three structure deck uh, budget version we've already checked out the uh, a little bit more competitive, but still very, very much budget Dogmatica version, which was really, really cool. I actually really like that version a lot, but here is another one for you. This one is an oldie, but a goodie, but we have Tri Brigades for you. So Tri Brigades are a deck that, if you guys don't know, work around BBWs or Beast Bee Warrior Wing Beast. Shout out Cali Effect. So the BBW deck, aka the Tri Brigade deck, aka the Link from the Graveyard deck, is absolutely crazy. So this deck was very, very popular a few years back and it was actually really really cool to play i played it for a little bit so basically what it is is all these monsters have effects and when they're on the field they can activate the effect to banish beast beast warrior wing beast from the graveyard to special summon a link monster that's beast beast warrior wing beast of the equal link rating equal to a number of beast beast warrior wing beasts that you banish from your graveyard so it has a really really cool synergy with the fire king strategy because ponyx is a wing beast this is a wing beast this is a beast the types match perfectly with what BBW slash Tribrigade wants to do and I think that's absolutely crazy that not more people are talking about this deck. No, I originally heard about this from Alex Zordio Duelista. I don't know him. I just saw his video and I was like, this is really cool. So I want to go ahead and emulate a style of build in that sense. So I think the Fire Kings really, really benefit from having, again, consistency is the biggest issue with the deck and having additional access to other types of interruption. So Dogmatica has additional interruption for you, the Diabellistar has a lot of consistency for you, and I think this adds a little bit of both when it comes to Tri Brigade Fire King builds. So let's go ahead and go through it and I'll show you guys exactly what I mean. So of course we played two copies of Garunix, three copies of Kirin, three Ponix, one Arvata, one Human, and one Barong, which actually does differ from our previous builds because previously we were playing multiple Arvata, uh, multiple of the Barong because you have to play Fire King or Fire Formation Tanky because it is at the end of the day a consistency piece. Now adding these cards is really good don't get me wrong but they by themselves are not lone starters. What Fire Formation Tanky playing with Tribe Gate allows you to do is allow you to do just that is you are add you can have the option to add the Arvata, the Barong or the uh, or the Hanuman or you could add Tribrigate Fractal and it just goes clean off and start doing Tribrigate plays and if that for some reason gets stopped, switch to Fire King and you're good to go from there. So I really really like this because it synergizes with that consistency. With Tribrigate you have the additional advantage to, well I wish you would, would say let's go ahead and start off with the disadvantage that it does lock you into Link Monsters. The good thing about the Fire King strategy deck though is that it doesn't care because it's going to XZ summon during your turn so it doesn't matter if you get locked which i think is really really cool and overall saying that guy i think tribrigade definitely has a huge huge head advantage with that as far as being one of the better strategies to go ahead and mix with the fire king i'm just upset at myself for it taking so long for me to find this deck so we have three tribrigade fractal three kit uh, one Nerval, one Karas, really all you're going to need because one search off your Nerval is going to get you full everything, everything you need. Wait, wait, one copy of DD Crow, very, very clutch Tribrigade move because you are able to go ahead and search this guy out, so why not play him? He's fantastic to counter, really high, high potential top tier decks. It can mess with Rescue Ace, it can mess with, it well actually, it really, really hurts Purelli as well, so DD Crow is a really, really key card in the strategy overall but it, what adds additional viability to it is because you can search it out as well and with a card that affects top decks in the meta you really can't go wrong with it, it even hurts unchained so why not play it 
three copies of DD Crow, three copies of Ash Blossom. DD Crow, or I mean, not, not DD Crow, three copies of Drone Lockbird, and three copies of Ash Blossom, which can be Nibiru or Effect Baylor if you prefer. I'm actually very much considering putting Effect Baylor in this slot because really on field negations are absolutely huge. Having Effect Baylor in perm wins you a lot of games, whereas Drone Lockbird might be a little bit better in the side deck at the moment, but that's just my personal opinion. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably change that, but the same thing here for the profile, whatever. Uh, for the spells, guys, three copies of Sanctuary, the Fire King, one Immolation, two Fire King Island still, three Tenki, because of course we do have that additional consistency with an additional search target we can go ahead and get, which is a one card combo, which makes you one Tenki a one card combo as well. We have, of course, still our copy of one for one, because one for one is still going to be immediate access to Ponix, which again is full combo. So we have three full combo, six full combo, seven full combo. Uh, 10 full combo in our opening hands. Now, that I mean, in our main deck that we could potentially draw. So we have 25% chance essentially of seeing at least one of these cards. I don't know what the exact percentages are as far as seeing in your opening hand or how many multiples or whatever you might see, but you get you guys get the point, right? So onto the traps, of course, three imperm, one tribegate revolt. Revolt is still a crazy, crazy trap card. A lot of people forget about revolt. If I'm not mistaken, they get reprinted in the rarity collection. Not that it needed a reprint, but I believe if it did, it get they get a huge rarity upgrade. So yay for tribegate players. And if I'm wrong, roast me in the comments, it's fine. So next up guys, for the extra deck, I think it's really, really cool again, that you have a pretty much full link base. You don't have to worry about getting any rank eights like I was talking about before. You don't have to worry about getting any nonsense fusion monsters for dogmatica like gorura or anything like that if you guys really want to go ahead and play this version this is an extremely budget friendly extra deck in a second give me a second i know you guys see the sp little knight give me a second so it is extremely budget friendly extra deck for you guys you play one copy of amirage one like heart uh one ancient warriors this was the cherry on top of the previous tribe against strategies as well SP Little Knight, which can be, of course, taken out if you want a third copy of Shurag, no problem whatsoever. So you don't need to play SP Little Knight, it just really helps. But most plays, you're going to be ending on more Tri Brigade based plays and Fire King based plays, so you're not really going to be going into SP Little Knight that often. It's just nice to have. Uh, one Farajit, one Bear Brum. Uh, one of the Rugal, of course, because Rugal has to go into the eventual combo, which I, at the end of the video, I completely forgot to mention. I am going to show you guys a quick combo guide on how this deck is supposed to work, so make sure you guys stay tuned to the very end of the video. So, Appaloosa, Bow the Goddess, we got Access Code Talker, we got Dragon Zelantis, which is a really, really cool card. So, Zelantis is really cool because during my main phase, I can go ahead and just banish all monsters on the field and have free range to do whatever I want, which is really, really cool, of course. Then it does have the additional effect where I can blow up cards during the battle phase, which is cool, don't get me wrong. But what I primarily want to go ahead and use this for is part of the full combo because this does take just one plus effect monster, which helps us put Shurag in the graveyard, which gets us a search during our turn one combo which again i'll show you guys in just a little bit two copies of shirag one underworld goddess one of the garunix hyang eternity king uh, fire fire king whatever his name is and one doom crisis sky crisis whatever his name is again so there's a few cards in here you don't necessarily need you don't need the sky crisis you don't need the access code and you don't need the sp low knight which pretty much takes the entire cost of the deck overall as far as uh, main deck and extra deck away and you can go ahead and play cards like a second copy of the Hyang, a copy, a third copy of Shurag, or if you want to go ahead and play a Zeus, if you have a Zeus, that's an extremely budget friendly option as well. Things like 15 bucks for like the cheapest Zeus. So really, really not the most costly deck, which again, in a format with a top tier decks, so essentially right now, you have to buy really expensive engines to play, including this deck as well. Don't get me wrong, guys. If you guys want to play the most competitive version of this deck, which will most likely be the Diabell Star version, you are still going to have to spend at least 200 to 300 plus dollars on the engine of just the wanted sinful spoil stuff and then get the structured decks and you get to go from there but i digress guys you there is a lot of additional things you're gonna have to get which is why i really love that the structure that comes with drone lockbird comes with torrential tribute comes with infinite impermanence comes with all these really great stable cards and reprints that i would highly recommend you as a brand new player if this is going to be the first deck you're picking up i would highly recommend you guys make sure you do so and really value these cards because there was a time where these cards were extremely difficult to get and you guys are getting them all included in your main deck structure deck for apps well i want to say for free but of course it's not for free guys but is an immediate advantage for you guys so really really clutch 
Really, really amazing move by Konami. But without further ado, guys, that's going to be it for the full deck profile for you guys so you guys get the full deck list go ahead and copy paste if you want to go ahead and test it out yourselves but well, we got some combos to look over so first up guys i'm going to show you how to play with a hand that used to be an absolute brick before so now that we have the tanky and the garunix is only two cards we have in our hand before really all we could search was the barong arvata and really not do anything else from there because there's nothing there that really pops anything but what you can do now guys, you can actually search out your copy of Fractal and go full combo with this. So we're going to go ahead and add the Fractal of course. We're going to activate the Fractal effect in the graveyard, sending it to the graveyard and then be able to foolish another Tri Brigade name. So we're going to go ahead and send our copy of Kit. Kit is then going to activate sending our copy of Nerval and Nerval is going to activate of course searching us our copy of Karas. Uh, I actually <laughs> playing, you know, testing with this deck, it really makes me miss playing Tri Brigade quite a bit so yeah, i mean I, the, the the nostalgia is there definitely so we're gonna go ahead and activate cross this is without using any normal summons of course get our big chicken out of there we're gonna special summon the cross and we're gonna activate cross's effect to go ahead and link summon from the graveyard if you guys are seeing the tribal gates for the first time you're welcome this is it breaks all the rules of what used to be link summoning so we're gonna go ahead and banish our tri names to go ahead and get our sheller and what this guy allows us to do is be able to link summon into our sure egg. So we're going to go ahead and do just that. And then we're not going to go ahead and banish. We're not, we're not going to banish. But this is where Sea Monster or World Sea Dragon Zelantis really comes into play. Because you can go ahead and summon this guy out. And Shrag is going to activate its effect to go ahead and search us out a copy of Ponix. So Ponix is then going to go ahead and we, we normal summon it because we did all this without normal summoning, which is cool. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, you're going to be playing into Nibiru hard. But it's definitely worth it if you're able to get your full combo going, I always say. Now, uh, we're going to go into Sanctuary of the Fire Kings. We're going to activate Sanctuary of the Fire Kings. And we already have full access to all of our regular shenanigans with Fire Kings. It's absolutely broken that we can go from a hand that used to be dead to a hand that can go full combo with, well, unless you, you get interrupted, but you know, whatever. Uh, so we're going to activate Garunix, of course, in the graveyard. Go ahead and special summon. I probably sort of searched out the Kirin in that scenario. Uh, but it's all good, guys. I mean, essentially, we're also learning here. We're also having fun. So actually, no, we can actually save this uh, by sending the Barong. And then during our opponent's standby phase, this is all turn one. Uh, so then we go ahead and end it right there. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else we can do. We're going to end it right there. During the standby phase, we're actually going to be able to get two cards added to our hand. We're going to get big chicken back, or little chicken back. And then we're also going to be getting the Barong effect to be able to go ahead and search out a Fire King. So we're actually going to go ahead and search the Kirin. And then we're, we're chilling. <laughs> we're absolutely chilling. Uh, so that is a full Fire King combo. We start off with two cards in our hand and we have already full advantage to go ahead and take it from there. Into our Fire King plays, guys, we already have the double Ponix pop. And that is not bad considering the initial opening hand it was absolute doo-doo garbage and we could not do absolutely anything with it. So I think that's really, really cool. But that's going to be it for a basic combo, how to unbreak your hand. Now let's go to combo number two so you can go ahead and see a little bit more of the full power of the deck. What of all the hands you could potentially get playing this deck? I think that Kit Ponix with a discard or just another card that we can, not discard, we can put back with the Fergie or Bear Rum combo, I think is absolutely wild. So we're going to go ahead and activate this, uh, we're going to start this off I should say by doing some very very pedestrian plays with our Fire King stuff. We're going to go ahead and get the Sanctuary, activate Sanctuary to go ahead and get the Fire King Island onto the field. And then we're going to activate Fire King Island's effect to pop the kit because it is a fire monster. Of course it's a fire monster, why not? So we're going to go ahead and do that to go ahead and search our copy of Garunix. Garunix is then going to activate, uh, no, kit first, my apologies. And then we can go ahead and search Garunix, ah, eh, whatever. Garunix can special summon itself for free. And then we're going to get uh, kit's effect. Kit is going to search, uh, no, we're going to send Nerval, my apologies. And Nerval is then going to search out our copy of um, our copy of Fractal. So we're gonna go ahead and activate the Nerval effect, Chainlink 2, Nerval is gonna search out the Fractal. Garunix is then going to pop, and this scenario, I think we can just go ahead and pop Barong, and then we should be good to go ahead and go from there. Barong, so we can go ahead and search during our opponent's turn. Uh, now we already normal summoned, so I do wanna go ahead and activate the Fractal's effect to Link. So what we can actually do, because we have Wing Beast, we can actually, Hard summon Fergie, which is pretty cool. Activate Fergie's effect. 
to go ahead and special summon out the Fractal, which doesn't summon in the Link Zone, which is perfect, because we're activ activating the the guy's effects. We're gonna go ahead and special summon. We're gonna summon out a Link 2. We're gonna uh, get rid of these two, banish the tri names, and then we're gonna summon out our Burbrum. So Bear Brum is going to then be on the field. We're gonna go ahead and special summon in Appaloosa. Now we can go all three, uh, but we want the fire monster on the field so we can go ahead and guarantee ourselves something uh, to pop with Barong. So that's gonna be absolutely huge. Uh, although we are getting a little chicken back, so it, you guys get what I'm trying to say. So we're gonna go ahead and make Appaloosa. Uh, with two negates on board, so we're already guaranteeing ourselves two interruptions. We're gonna guarantee ourselves the third interruption with our copy of Bear Brum. So we're gonna go ahead and activate Bear Brum Chain Link 1 and chain block it with the Ferrajit as chain link two. Ferrajit chain link two, the way of the acid fair ash, the Ferrajit, that's perfectly fine. Uh, go ahead and put the big chicken back so we still have the imperm. We're gonna search out Tribrigade Revolt and put the imperm back. Uh, again, this is just three cards. The imperm could literally be anything else. So we're gonna go ahead and set this and then when it comes to our turn, we're actually going to be able to go full combo because what we have here, I'm going to go ahead and end it just so you guys can are able to see. During the standby phase, there are going to be some effects that we're going to be able to activate, of course. So we're going to be able to activate the Barong in order to be able to search. So we're going to be able to search out our Fire Kirin. Kirin is then going to have the ability during our opponent's main phase to special summon itself by popping a fire monster we control. So we're gonna go ahead and pop the fractal, special summon out the Kieran, and then because we did that, Garunix is still in the graveyard when we sent it there earlier. So we're gonna go ahead and special summon out the Garunix onto our side of the field. So we already have the Garunix and then activate Garunix effect. Why not to go ahead and pop another card that we have? We can pop whatever at this point, doesn't really matter too, too much. Or I say you summon, uh, you don't wanna really pop the Arvata because if you do special summon something from the graveyard, it's not really gonna help you. All it's gonna do is really clog up your zones, which is obviously something you don't want, right? Uh, so what you can do is pop the Ponix and that way you're guaranteeing yourself the Ponix during the uh, next drop phase. So, uh, next next standby phase I should say. So here what we have is we have a Banish non-targeting with Tribigator Revolt, so special, special summon out the Shirag. We have a full board wipe with the Sanctuary of Fire Kings to go ahead and exit summon during our opponent's turn. And then we also have Appaloosa Bow the Goddess which gives us two negates on board and this is actually super super crazy because it is melding meshing both of the strategies absolutely beautifully and in the event you do some of the Shirag and then blow up the entire board Shirag is then going to search you whatever you want from your deck because that's what Shirag does so that's gonna be it for the video guys let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below hope you guys did enjoy hope you guys are enjoying the fire king marathon we've been going on sorry I haven't been really touched on too many decks but the structure checks coming out soon guys I want y'all to be prepared and without further ado we're gonna go ahead and try something new this time. Stay salty.